At 170 pounds, he is Kevin Bryan. Kevin Bryan making his way to the ring right now. Bit of a cocky individual, if I do say so myself, Dr. Bob. A little bit. Are you joking me? If any cockier, you'd have to be working on the farm. That man crows and crows. He is his biggest fan. And this triple threat is going to be a one heck of an endeavor. Justin Turnbull, Kevin Bryan, and La Puga Victor. Three men that are very well known to each other and three men that are at the absolute top of the mountains in terms of these light heavyweights. We will see some amazing action here tonight, Zach. Absolutely. I'm so excited for this exciting matchup. Now, knowing each three of these individuals as well as both we do, Zach, who do you think you would give the advantage to out of these? Well, I hate to admit it, but Kevin Bryan is uh, very much tactical in his approach to professional wrestling. He'll find some way to get a quick shot in. Oh, he always does. And La Puga, the flea from Barcelona, Spain. One of the most well-traveled wrestlers we have on the roster. Everywhere he goes across the entire globe, this man is a superstar through and through. What a pleasure it is to have him here at Torture Chamber Pro Wrestling. Looking to continue to find the competition. He makes his way here to Quebec to wrestle some of the best here in Quebec. Not his first time here. Every single time, though, it is a special occasion. He isn't here permanently, but man, every single time we get to see him, it is a treat. And the third man in this triple threat matchup. And the third participant in this match from Pierrefonds, Quebec, playing in at 145 pounds, he is Suicide Jesus Justin Listen to this crowd erupt, Zach. One of the most popular men in all of Torture Chamber Pro Wrestling, without a doubt, the Suicide Jesus himself, Justin Turnbull. Turnbull willing to risk it all to win the match. As you mentioned, well beloved here in Torture Chamber. And you could bet that he's got his eyes not only set on the Paul and Victor, but on Kevin Bryan. These two have been tormenting each other for months now. Man, I love this venue. I gotta say it again, Theat Paradox, Vengeance, March 24, 2018 here. Beautiful place, I hope we do return sometime very soon, Zach. Oh, absolutely, it's an incredible venue to witness pro wrestling. And a one-time church is gonna be the home right now of the Suicide Jesus. Look at our proud NWA banner in the back. Tonight we will see, of course, two NWA titles being defended, the NWA Canadian Tag Team Championships and the NWA British Commonwealth Championship later on in the night. No title here, but what we do have is a battle for glory, a battle for bragging rights. Kevin Bryan has been on such a hot streak, going on now many, many matches, undefeated streak here in Montreal. He's making it his goal not to be pinned, not to be submitted. In the next two years in Montreal, he's been very proud to say. He certainly likes to make sure he comes in with style. You saw that coat hanger there. Style. Looks like a garbage bag, and here we go. Right out of the gate, he just rolls right out of the ring. Brian and Turnbull are very, very well known to each other. They've faced off countless, countless times and the thing with Turnbull is he is rearing ready to go. Brian, a little bit more hesitant. Oh, there we go! Wow! What a nice combination here from Lapolga and Turnbull and Lapolga with a nice drop kick. Just a few seconds in and the Suicide Jesus takes to the skies already. Soaring from the heavens is Justin Turnbull. This is what we've been expecting, Dr. Bob. I didn't know it would get to this quick a start, Zach. I gotta be honest. Surprising. Look at the leapfrog. 
able to jump over his Turnbull. The speed, the jumping ability, these two. My oh. goodness! Don't adjust your sets, folks. This is real. Torture Chamber Pro Wrestling bringing you the best in high flying action as well as tactical acumen. Back and forth between these two. Stalemate. Kip ups. Eighty nine to I. Oh, and Kevin Bryan. It is a triple threat matchup. No tag team, no tags needed right now. They're all in at the same time, and Kevin Bryan's going to use that to his advantage. Goes for the pin already. Only a one count. You're not going to pin someone as prolific as the Spaniard here that quickly. Going for a vomit splash. That move always leaves a really bad taste in my mouth for some reason. Kevin Bryan looking angry that the crowd is supporting Justin Turnbull. About a 50-50 split between Victor and Justin Turnbull, and that leaves zero for Whoa. Kevin Bryant. Maximum impact from Turnbull. Nice chest breaker. Inverted lung blower, and here he goes, sends him off the ropes. Oh, stopped at the pass. Bryant was able to scout that one, but Turnbull coming back into it. These two have fought each other so often. They know each other so well. Ow! Looked like a cravat right to the top row. Cravat, almost a snapmare driver right into the throat. That's going to stun you. Gets him up. Oh, and Brian does it so very well. Went in for another pin. And able to kick out his Turnbull. That man isn't very well known, I'd say. People don't often quite talk about it, but he is a master at the suplexes, as is evident by that belly to back. Sunset Here's flip. That. that Spanish sunset. Able to roll him up, but Brian able to kick out. Going again with the inside cradle. Able to kick out. Great some separation. And that spells disaster for Kevin Bryan. What a splash! Ah, Turnbull able to get him. Reverse sends him up to the other side hard. That was right on the ramp, back first. Thankfully not straight to the floor, so he was able to capture himself. And we've seen this very often, the disgusting tactics of Kevin Bryan biting, biting his opponent. He was able to get it away from the ref's direction. Oh! Neck first. Modified neck breaker across the knee. That could have been it, folks. That stun you, that leaves you with a jarring effect on your neck. Gives you a lot of very, very hard trouble to try to recover. Brian decided to take Lapulga Victor to the other side of the ring. Lapulga going in. Brian able to get out of it, but Lapulga's on the apron. You don't want to give that man any space. And he's spaced to fly. Catches him. Oh, sends him outside to the guardrail, very close to the ring apron. Well, that's that's Extra. dangerous there. Oh, and a bulldog. Turbo with a bulldog. Here's the pin again. He's using his lankiness and his jumping ability really to his advantage. And I think this is where Brian's at the disadvantage. He's not quite as fast as his two opponents. And having that sudden reaction time here is paramount. It'll mean the difference between victory and a loss. Smacks back and forth between Turnbull and Brian. These two do not like each other, Dr. Bob. Man, oh man, is that an understatement of 2018. He's gone to the top. Grabbed a hold of the wrist. Walking the top rope. Whoa! And a Jesus jump straight from the third rope outside. Folks, he caught La, Vulga, La Pulga Victor hard there. Almost crashes into one of our torture chamber students. And that is maximum impact on that. You see Turnbull. You can hear the crowd very, very happy with this one. 
Brian trying to catch him, but a leg drop. Beautiful. Springboards, turns it inside out. Short leg drop, enough to send his opponent to the outside. Now all three down on the floor. Turnbull's going after Kevin Bryan. I think in a brawling state on the outside, I give the advantage to Turnbull. But with so little space between the apron and the guardrail, it's anyone's game here. Oh, oh that's the folks, up. don't take your eyes off the flea. Oh! oh! Takes it by both. A flipping senton catches both of the opponents, wipes them out. And the man that is standing tall, the world traveler himself, Napuka Victor. And like we've seen so many occasions, Zach, that man flies like absolutely no other. There's a reason why he's called the flea. Sanitary reasons? No, oh, he's able to fly around the ring. Got it. Goes for the pin. Able to kick out his turnbull. But barely, folks. Look at the energy expended to try to kick out of that one. As the match continues, you're seeing more and more energy exerted. One of the most rudimentary of moves. Oh! Standing Spanish fly. How appropriate. It's like a modified Indian death lock. You're really wrenching it in. And folks, the added pressure of the foot on the knee is torquing your entire leg. The pain shooting through him. It gives you so little space to move. Oh, Kevin Bryan! Surfboard stretch has both arms. The angle that you're turning back, that isn't as easy as just trying to move your body. You are at that man's absolute control. Turbo trying to reach for the bottom rope, but his shoulders were down. The higher your knee is in that move, the less mobility your opponent has. Trying to keep the shoulders up as he Who reaches Who will over. be the first man to tap out here? Uh, looks like it's going to be no one as Turnbull is able to reach the rope. I think Brian could have kept the submission on there, but he chooses not to. Scoop slam there for Brian. We've seen this out of Brian before, using his enemies to attack his enemies. Oh! Maybe not just setting it up. I think I know what's coming up, and I need a stick of gum in this one. I think we all do after this Whoa. one. Kevin Bryan going up top. Not very familiar spot for him, but I've seen the man fly before. Going from the top, Kevin Bryan. Frog splash! Both are able to get out of the way and catches nothing but canvas. Yeah, you can see that tick that took a lot out of Brian. All three staggering, all three affected by this matchup. What a match we've seen so far here, Zach. From a few that many were calling the feud of the year, possibly the feud of all time here at Torture Chamber Pro Wrestling between Brian and Turnbull. We've added that extra combustible element of La Puga Victor. And what we're having here is an all-time classic. Double back elbow. A little roll him up. And gets him out of the ring. Spills out hard. Ryan might be a non-factor if the other two can try to end it out here early. Back and forth between La Pulga and Turnbull. Going for back switches. Some nice technical acumen here. Switching back and forth, trying to get the upper advantage. German suplex! With the bridge! And able to kick out his Lapolga. That extra bridge putting more weight on your shoulders, making it that much more difficult to kick out. Beautifully done. I'm just surprised, Zach, at this point and how tired these two are that they're still able to pull off huge maximum velocity, maximum impact moves like that. Oh, absolutely. But sometimes you got to go to the max to try and get the job done. Wow! The Polga flipping and flying. A chest breaker again. Going for a pit. And Turnbull able to kick out. I, I thought that was it. When have you seen this fast action, folks? 
This kind of a matchup, this kind of energy expanded, what a matchup we're seeing here. This is one for the history books, folks. Turbo gets out of it. Rolling elbow. Into the ropes. I'll beat him up, ball. Oh. I'm gonna fire his carry off. Oh. And a moonsault for the second rope. O'Brien oh, coming in, stealing, stealing the victory. He's stealing I hope not. I oh, turned the label to kick out. I, I can't believe it. Neither can Brian. Kevin was so close to keeping his win streak alive here. But he's got to reach in deep. Continue. He cannot get too frustrated. I know that's a lot to say for Kevin Bryan, but he needs to keep on his man here. He's just pounding away with that boot. Now he's got Turnbull set up in the corner. Most of he's going up. I don't know if this is a smart move for Kevin Bryan. But I guess at this point in the matchup, you really got to use all the tricks possible. Goes up to the top. Trying to get a suplex in. LaPolga catches him with a double axe handle. Switches. Wraps around. Oh, and the rolling neck breaker. Turbo, leg drop from the top. Turbo. Jesus, Good jump. Out. Is that enough, folks? And that's it. Kevin Bryan has lost. Justin Turnbull has secured the win. What an amazing, amazing matchup. And more than just that, Kevin Bryan has lost this one. Turnbull has gotten a measure of revenge back. Folks, I know we're supposed to be impartial here, but it's a big smile on our lips here. The man deserved the win. The man deserves some revenge. And Justin Turnbull secures the win here at Vengeance.